Hi YouTube! This week I want to talk about how you can transition your career from being a report monkey to actually being an analyst within your organization. Alright, so a couple weeks ago in the first video I did, I talked about what an analyst does and uh, the various roles an analyst can have in as part of their career. Now, one role that pretty much most analysts have at one point or another is pulling the reports and data out of various uh, analytics report tools uh, out there, Google Analytics, Adobe Psychedelics, etc. And one of the things I mentioned is the fact that some people, that that's unfortunately the only part of, of web analytics that they do is just pulling the data out of the tool and sending it on to management and that's it. And, and these people are unfortunately nicknamed um, uh, report monkeys. Uh, because unfortunately that's, that's literally all they do is they just go in, they know how to go into the tool, run the report, you know, pull it out in some form or fashion and, and send it on to management and that's, that's where their role ends. They are not given the opportunity to actually do analysis, um, do recommendations, and, and provide uh, value to the organization in that way. And I would imagine that most people who are in that role would love to transition into a, a full actual analyst role. And if you're not sure how to do that, uh, what the next steps are, because, okay, you know how to log into the tool, you know how to get to the reports, you have people who come to you and say, hey, I, I need to find out, you know, how many page views we had last week. You know how to do that, but you don't quite understand or quite know how to transition from doing just that to actually providing insights and analysis and recommendations from that data. Um, the first thing I would recommend uh, is to read some books and blogs about how to take the data that you're getting from these reports and actually analyzing them and, and the best ways to do that. And I'm going to provide links down below uh, to some of the books I would recommend reading, some of the blogs out there that I would recommend reading that are free to read, um, and, and just kind of familiarizing yourself with, okay, how how do I do analysis? How do I run a correlation? Because that might be something that you've never done before. Um, how does that information then provide uh, insights into being able to recommend improvements for the website? And so these reading materials will really help you to transition from just running the reports to actually being able to analyze the data and gain knowledge and insight from that data in order to provide uh, more value to your organization in general. So once you've kind of read the material that I've recommended, um, I would recommend then going back through the data that you've been pulling for your management and start analyzing it just on your own time, just kind of go in there. You have the opportunity now, you have access to these tools, you have access to this real, real world, world data, so try to analyze it, try to get a better sense of what's going on with the data and try and gain some insights and, and, and think about, well, what's going on here? Why is this happening, uh, etc. And just kind of get comfortable with doing that on your own. And then once you get to a point where you feel like you have a good grasp of doing analysis and you actually come up with some things that you think would be really good recommendations for your company's website, based on what you've analyzed, then I would go and, and have a, a meeting with your manager and talk to them and say, hey, you know, um, I've been thinking about this. I would really like to transition to being an actual analyst. Look at what I've done here. I've done this on my own time. I wanted to uh, improve my knowledge and skill set. And here I actually have some recommendations I think would help the website based on what I've done you know, what do you think? And so I would start that conversation with your manager when you get to that point. But, you know, definitely if it's something you want to do in your career, definitely, definitely pursue that and continue to pursue it. There are, I, I think right now, still a lot of opportunities in this field. And I think there's a lot of demand out there. So if it's something that you really truly want to follow, um, you know, I, I strongly encourage anyone uh, to do so. But um, yeah, definitely educate yourself and, and take the opportunity that you have now 
when you have access to these tools to really kind of get your get your strengths up and and hopefully your management will support your uh, your career goals and help you uh, to uh, to at least you know get to the next level in terms of actually becoming a full-fledged web analyst so for those of you out there uh, I hope this was somewhat of a helpful video until next week thank you take care bye bye